8 a.m. Just woke up, very tired, because I'm used to my 11 a.m. classes. Even though I usually wake up early to go work out, I don't wake up to go to class. So my brain's not on, but my body's awake. Um, anyway, I'm going to Science Park today to have my first practical. It's a lab, and we're gonna be looking through microscopes. Chairs. <laughs> so the practical you just saw is actually not that common for a first year student, but that's why I filmed it because it was so exciting that it was our first practical of the whole year. Um, as a first year student, we're actually more often doing theory work on our computer or just doing written homework. The idea of the first year is to get a fundamental idea of what does it mean to be a forensic scientist and what does it mean to think like a forensic scientist. So that means a lot more lectures and just thinking. Most of my days are characterized by having two classes, one from 11 to 1, or perhaps 9 to 11, depending on the professor's availability, and then a short break from 1 to 3, where we can do whatever we'd like. Then we reconvene at 3 for another two-hour lecture. On some days, we have a work class or a question hour class, where we can work on the current homework assignment or simply ask questions from previous lectures. You might have noticed that classes typically begin at 11. If you're a morning person like I am, that means you have the morning to do whatever you'd like. And for me, that's usually when I try to go to the gym. Between group fitness classes or one-on-one -on -one boxing classes or just doing my own thing, I always find something to keep me occupied. Hey guys, so I am actually walking from my building to Parnia's building. It's about a one minute walk, not even if I were speed walking, but I have precious goods, coffee. Um, so I'm gonna take class with Parnia because well, one of the great things about Zoom is that I can take class from anywhere with anyone. With classes all being online, I found it really difficult to actually stay focused alone in my room for two hours straight. If it's possible, I highly recommend taking virtual classes with a friend. If either of us ever has a question, we usually can talk through it together and figure something out. Likewise, during our mini breaks, it's really nice to actually have someone to talk to as opposed to scrolling through my phone for 15 minutes. While lab practicals are not common for first year students, this program has tried really hard to ensure that we at least get to see each other in person once a week. When we meet, we usually meet in a large lecture hall and make sure that we sit at least 1.5 meters apart. This is my practical for logic and reasoning in the human factor. As you can see, there's plenty of space between each of us. Hopefully you get a better idea of what it's like being a first year forensic science master student at the UVA, and hopefully you're interested in applying. While you'll be coming here to study, we both know that there's more to life than just being a student, and so I'm gonna try to entice you to visit Amsterdam with the following. Fresh stroke waffles, interesting herring, delicious coffee, unique pancakes, and deep fried dough. Seriously, who doesn't like deep fried food? While the city and cuisine might draw you in, I have no doubt that it'll be the people that you meet and the friends that you make that will keep you here and make you happy. I'm so thankful that I decided to travel all the way from the US for this amazing experience, and I hope I'll get to meet you next year. We are on our way to the gate. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you got a better idea of what it's like being a first year student in the Masters in Forensic Science program. If you have any questions, please feel free to message me on social media or find me through Unibuddy, which is on the UVA's website.